Well, hi guys, here we are at the Australian Radio Network, which is uh, where I work. And there's actually two radio stations here, Gold 104, which is the one I work on, and Mix 101.1. So I thought, besides me just telling you about how the radio station works, we might have a look around and meet some of the people that, that work here and have a look at, you know, where we work and what we do. So let's go in now. Always busy here at the reception area of, of Gold 104, and this is Clem who's on reception today. Hi, Clem. Hi, Huggy. How are you? Tell us a little bit about what the receptionist at the Australian Radio Network does. I answer all the calls here for Gold 104 and Mix 101.1. This is where all the mail comes, all our deliveries. Any visitors that come to the station come here and they sign in before they go and see everyone. So this is basically just the hub to the station. Everyone comes here first and then they go out. So here we are, we're at the General Manager's Office of the Australian Radio Network, Mix 101.1 and Gold 104. And luckily Steve is actually here today. Hi Steve. Um, I was just talking to some friends of mine about um, the radio station and, and, and I mentioned that you're the general manager and you kind of look over everything. Tell us more about your job. Well, Huggy, I suppose that's right. I mean, I'm actually in, in the final say on all the major decisions that are made here. I really have to um, report to the, the, you know, the, the CEO of the company. It's my job here to make sure the station's profitable. We make all the money we need to make, uh, make sure we've got the right staff, make sure we're rating well. Um, I have, of course, all the executives in the in the station, which which are responsible for each different um, aspect of the job, and they all report to me. So, you know, if anything goes wrong, it's all my fault, and if everything goes right, then I'm a hero. Okay, so we've met the general manager. The department I work in is called programming, and uh, we'll go and meet some people from programming and learn more about them. And this is James Grove. Now, James is the music director of Gold 104, but he actually has, uh, has two jobs, so let's talk to James a little bit and find out what he does, because he has an interesting uh, position here at the radio station. G'day, James. Hello there. How you, how's everyone going? Hello, hello. Um, look, in a nutshell, I'm the music director for Gold, so I do all the music for Gold, but then at three o'clock I wander over to another studio and I go on air for Mix. So it's a little bit different and it doesn't happen often. <laughs> hey James, just tell us, because everybody always wants to know, I know, it's, I know there's a lot of aspects to it, but how do you pick the music that will be played on Gold 104? Basically, we get um, large groups of people together to find out what they think of certain songs, for example, maybe 700 songs, and then we get all of the information, put it in a computer, it comes out with a spreadsheet and it tells, tells us exactly what we should be playing. And then we put it all together and... There you have it, every day. Okay, so we go from the music director of Gold 104's office to the program director. Now, be nice, because this bloke's my boss. One of the most um, important things about a radio station is the breakfast show. So, uh, you must obviously have meetings with the, with the breakfast. I know you would have meetings with everybody that works here, like myself, but I guess the breakfast show and ours, Grubby and Dita, you'd be speaking with them uh, a lot, wouldn't you, about their shows? Yeah, that's right. I talk to Grubby and Dee, Dee uh, every day and tell them exactly what to do, what they've got to say, word for word, the following morning. Likewise, Huggy then comes into my office and sits down and I say, Huggy, this is exactly what you've got to say today, word for word, on the airways that afternoon. Do you think you can tell which one of us is kidding? Uh, I think it's him. All right, so we've, uh, go we're going to leave the program director's office now because, uh, well, he's a lonely guy, so we'll leave him by himself. <laughs> no, we're going to leave the program director's office now. We're going to go around the corner of our very stylish radio station to the promotions area. We will pass what's called the uh, copy department, although they like to call it the creative department. This is Darren who works here Darren at the uh, creative department. You guys write the ads, don't you, Darren? We sure do. We love it. And uh, so how does it work? Does the, uh, one of our sales executives gives you information about the client and that's what you work from? Yep, they sure do. They give us a brief and then we write off the brief and we write an ad and we send it to the client and then hopefully they like it. So after you've written it, it's recorded and eventually we hope it ends up on the radio. That's how it works if everything goes to plan. Get on you, Darren. All right, let's keep moving down. This is the promotions department of Gold 104 and Mix 101.1. Belinda at the moment is speaking to somebody about a promotion on Mix 101.1. You can see she's very busy. But in here, this is Kate Murphy. Now, Kate is the promotions manager for Gold 104. Hi, Kate. 
Hi, Huggy. How are you? Good. I've got some friends with me here, and we wanted to know um, what happens with the promotions department. What do you guys do, and how do you get the promotions together? And what is promotions? What does that mean? I think promotions is all about giving the people what they want to win. So um, if you think about tickets to concerts, getting to meet your favourite artist, um, big cash contests, which mum and dad's always love, um, even right down to sampling items on the street like cans of Coke and packets of chips and stuff like that. Um, and we try to, I guess, design competitions that will make you guys at home want to listen to us. And that's really the premise of my job, Hug. Okay, so we're outside the ARN Melbourne newsroom. Now, remember, they do the news for Gold 104 and Mix 101.1, but you'll be surprised to learn they actually read news for stations interstate. We'll go in there and see if they can have a bit of a chat with us. So this is the newsroom. At the moment, there are three of our news reporters on. We've got Luke, we've got Alexandra, and we've got Tamara. Say hi to my friends, guys. Luke, I was uh, chatting to my friends from the primary school and I mentioned that here at the newsroom, you don't just do news for gold and mix, but they might be surprised to learn you actually do news for interstate stations here too, don't you? We certainly do. We go to Adelaide. Okay, so how does that work? If you're sitting in Melbourne and you have to read news in Adelaide, how does that work in, as far as the newsroom goes? Who does that bit? Um, we do it. We do it all. We write it, we read it, and we send it over to Adelaide within seconds of it going to air over there. So as well as looking at news stories in Melbourne about, let's say, Melbourne football teams, you'd also be looking at stories perhaps about the Adelaide Crows or the uh, Port, Port Power? Anything local specific we, we target. And so you would read that each hour and then just uh, send it over to Adelaide and they would play it on their radio stations? That's right. So now we're going into the Mix 101.1 studio which, uh, as I mentioned before, is the other radio station here at, in Melbourne. And on the radio right now is Cathy Din. Hi, Hello. Ca Hi, Cathy. Hello, Huggy. How are you? I'm really good. Tell us uh, about Mix 101.1, the shift that you do and the kind of music that you guys play. Because I know a lot of people watching this would be Mix 101.1 listeners. I hope so. Well, we play a lot of stuff. I'm going to play some Ricky Lee soon. You know Ricky Lee from Australian Idol. We love her. We play a lot of Kylie Minogue. So I'm on the radio here every day between 9 and 3. A lot of people would be surprised to see that you're not playing any CDs. So oh. where's, where does the music come from? It's all coming out of the computer. The computer. It's all digital now. No CDs, no, no records or anything like that, Huggy. Mr. Computer does a lot of work for us. It's good. And uh, is it good fun to work at Mix 101.1? Yeah, it's excellent. Hey, Kathy, Have a fun shift. Thanks, guys. Thanks for dropping by. This is uh, Laura, and she's the, uh, the news director at the radio station. And at the moment, we can't speak to her because she's actually about to read the news on one of our radio stations. You can see her practicing there. We can't hear her. If we were in there with her, we could hear her. Okay, so as we continue our tour of the Australian Radio Network, this is the sales area. This is actually the biggest department in a radio station. It's salespeople. In fact, lots of them aren't here because they're out trying to get new clients to advertise on the radio station. There's a few people around here, but the most people in a radio station work in the sales department. So what I thought we might do is actually find out more about the sales department, and the best person to do that is our sales director, and this is Jan Meehan. Hi, Jan. Hi, how are you guys? Yeah, not too bad. Now, we've had a little bit of a look around, and I said that this is the biggest department in a radio station. So tell us, what do sales do? What do you guys are really the, like, the important bit, aren't you? We make the money. That's it, sales. Um, it is the biggest department. We've got about 30 people here that sell radio advertising, and what does that mean? That means that they go out and meet with all the clients, like, hello, hello, you know Chris and Murray, I'm sure. They're one of our clients that have been advertising with us for about 10 years, so one of the long-term clients. But the account managers go out and meet with the clients and they talk about the ads that they want. They might talk about doing live reads, where Huggy gets to read them their ad on the radio, which is always works really well, doing live reads. They love doing that. Um, but they'll talk to them about, you know, what sale they might have, like Harvey Norman and all the shops that you go into. They all come and talk to us about their sales. We put together good ads for them. We put together barbecues and we go out there and have everybody have an event and help them get all of our listeners to come into the stores. And one of the great things about this high rolling position is you get the best view out the window in the entire radio station. You can look out and see Melbourne. And one of the best friends of Jan happens to be Robbie Williams, who's here with us today. 
Okay, so uh, we're almost finished our tour of Gold 104 and Mix 101.1, but let's just have a look in here. This is by far the messiest office in our whole company. This is called engineering. When things break down, and there's a lot of electrical things in a radio station, when things break down, they get fixed in here. Problem is, we bring them in to get fixed, they put them down somewhere and can never find them again. Look, they really should be in that office. We're going to find them. So let's just walk down because the chief engineer's office is up here. Wait, I think we've found them. The elusive engineers of the radio station. Here we go. Ah, and they are in here. We found Brendan, we found Brian, and we found the guy that I mentioned who is the chief engineer at uh, Mix 101.1 and Gold 104, the Australian radio network. This is Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Craig. As you can see, I've got some friends with me, and I wanted to talk about uh, the radio station. We've met all sorts of people here. The engineering department, you guys have got a, a big job because you look after, well, at the end of the day, keeping us on the air. Just tell us about what you guys do. Well, we really, we're just responsible for um, all the computers, all the technology really in this place, um, making sure that it runs perfectly and keep you guys on air. Can you just tell us, Bill, in simple terms, when I'm on the radio at three this afternoon and I speak, how does that get from where I'm sitting onto a radio in someone's house or in their car? Okay, well, to put it simply, um, we transmit from one location, which is usually the highest spot in Melbourne, Mount Dandenong, uh, but you're located in Richmond, so your voice travels down the microphone into a mixer, uh, through another console, from a, through a wireless radio link between here and Mount Dandenong. And then well, I was going to ask you that. So I was thinking, there's, so there's not a wire from us in Richmond no. that runs all the way out to Dandenong? No, it's a wireless link, sort of like... Uh, your tele mobile phone works, okay. you know, in such a, such a fashion. So how does it get from Mount Dandenong in the antenna into my car radio? Well, that's the tricky part. If I told you that, we'd have a job. <laughs> <laughs> and those people that were missing, this is them. They're the ones that have the messiest office in the building. Okay, so the uh, second last stop on our journey around the radio station before we get to the actual Gold 104 studio where I work is uh, here in what we call the production department and Nigel Haynes is our production manager. Hi Nigel. Hi guys, how are you going? Good mate, uh, tell us about, uh, it's an odd word, production. Tell us um, what the production department does. Well it's basically like when you talk about a car, we're almost like the production line in a, in a, in a car factory. Everyone designs these things but someone's actually got to build the product. Um, and it's our job to actually build the product and to make sure it um, comes out the way that the designer or the program director uh, has instructed us to do. So if we have, a, we have certain guidelines to work within, um, but also we have to be reasonably creative and come up with some slightly different ideas. So it's different ideas, but in, a, in, in what you call a theme, I think. Okay, so we've learnt on our tour of the radio station that uh, there are people that sell the commercials and then there's, we met Darren who writes the commercials and so the end result is they come to somebody like you and you make them into what we hear on the radio. That's right, I, do, um, either, I don't do the commercials as such but I do the promos, a similar thing but uh, they're like commercials that advertise the station but yeah, once the script's been written, uh, it's all been signed off on, it comes into here, we put it on our multi-track equipment which I'll show you, um, it's actually a computer which is uh, made up of many Many, many tracks and we mix it together with music sound effects uh, it becomes an end product and that end product goes onto the computer system so that the guys like yourself can play it on air good times and great classic hits gold 104 there's t-rex and hot love and it's huggy on the radio this afternoon it's 20 degrees in melbourne at the moment on the way we'll play some beach boys and australian crawl and don't forget grubby and dd are back for breakfast again tomorrow morning with your chance to win a thousand dollars with the free money minute that's a lot of cash imagine how many show bags you could buy with that it's Gold 104, and here is Madonna. Guys, I didn't even realise you were here. Hey, um, well, you just heard me do a, a live uh, break, is what we call it, or a stop down, is what we really call it. That's the technical term, but in short, it means I spoke on, uh, on Gold 104. And, well, welcome to the Gold 104 studio. I'm actually on the radio now, as you can tell. And, uh, well, this is the final stop in our tour. We'll have a little bit of a look around and, uh, and show you how it all works. Okay, so uh, this is what I look at when I'm on the, uh, on the radio. And over here on the, the left-hand side, this is what we call the log that I mentioned before. And what it shows is uh, the songs that we're going to play and the things that go between them. You'll remember we spoke to Nigel before and he spoke about he makes ads for the radio station. We call them promos or sweepers. So we have a, a sweeper, then we have a song, then another sweeper and a song and so on. And then a little later, there will be a commercial break. In fact, I might be able to show you 
Anyway, that's how it all looks. So that's that screen. Then in the middle screen, we have things like uh, sound effects. Uh, so if we were going to, if we had somebody that won $1,000, we might play something that goes a little like this. Or if uh, I'm going to give away uh, some money, I might have somebody say something like this. When are you doing that? That's what's on the middle screen. So that's this one here. We've got all sorts of sound effects. In fact, I'm told there's about 16,000 sound effects and people speaking on there. And then the last computer we have over here, this is basically just a clock. It tells us what the temperature is. It lets us know if we go off the air. It all flashes if we go off the air. If somebody rings what we call the hotline, it means my boss is on the phone. And that's what that computer's for. Down here are all the buttons and switches that actually make it work. Now, these things here... They, uh, well, it looks complicated, but when you're actually doing it, it's not really that complicated. The three up here, the three orange knobs here, they're basically volume controls, all right? So everything that's coming off the big screen, the main one that I showed you, that's what's being played with these three things. If I turn one of those down, it turns off everybody's radio. Ooh, the power. Then the next three knobs here, these are the ones that I make the sound effects go on the radio with. That's basically it. All the other buttons and things, we don't touch them much. Well, that's it. That wraps up the tour of the Australian radio network, Gold 104, where I work, and Mix 101.1. You've seen the studio. We've met the people at work here. You've found out a lot more about it. And I did say that Jan had the best view in the whole radio station. I'll give you the tip. She hasn't. Have a look at the view we've got from the studio. And I'll see you later. G'day, I'm Grub. Hi, I'm Dee Dee. And this is Gold 104.